Now lastly, if we have 396x equals 9,152, we'll just have to divide. Exit, how much did you get? 23. 23. Does, does that decimal end? No, no. Okay, so so round it. Let's round to the tenth. So if we round it, twenty three point what? Twenty one point one. Twenty one point one? Yeah. Or three point one. Oh, twenty three point one. Twenty three point one. What are we talking about? Miles, gallons? What are we talking about? Gallons. Well, this is this is just gallons. This is just gallons. Gallons. Twenty three point one gallons of gas. Does that make sense? Let's think about the reasonableness of our, our problem here. You went nine or 396 miles on 11 gallons of gas. Are you going to need more gas or less gas to go 800 miles? Definitely more gas. So our number should be bigger. It is bigger. It's about right. We're going over twice the distance here. So we should have over twice the gas. That worked out for us. So think about the logic of your problems, maybe even before you start. That way you know that your answer is going to be at least reasonable. Let's do one more and we'll move on. You ever get something that's defective? So like you buy something and it just doesn't, it's not working the way it should work, you take it back, you get your money back, and you're really pissed off, you go, you sold me this piece of crap, I hate you, right? Yeah. That's what I do at least, I don't know about you. I start slamming stuff around, get really angry, and blame it all on the cashier, because it's totally their fault, right? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding, I don't do that at all. But you, you often get, well not often, but sometimes you'll get things that are defective. Defective means they don't quite work the way they should, and companies budget in for that. So here's what this one company does. They, they make calculators. And they, they know that for every 5,000 calculators, 40 of them are going to be defective. Maybe the solar power thing doesn't work quite right. Or maybe a button sticks or something. Yeah, it gives you the wrong answers all the time? Uh-oh. It says 2 plus 2 equals 7. I don't know. Whatever. But somehow they're defective. For every 5,000 calculators, 40 are defective. Well, you see, the company is going to budget in to refund that money. If they know they're going to produce some defective calculators, not by choice, but just be because of design or because something's going to happen to one of those little parts and it's going to break, they're going to budget in how much they have to spend over their total run of calculators. So they know that 40 of them are going to be defective for every 5,000. What we want to know is how many are going to be defective in a batch of 45,000. All right, let's make it 43,250. You see, maybe that's their yearly output, right? And they need to budget in for their, their next year uh, how much money they're going to give back after selling those calculators. Because they're defective, they need to either produce extra or give money back. So go ahead and set that up. I want you to do a proportion for that. The first sentence will give you that first fraction. Relate it units to units on the numerators and denominators. Work that thing out and tell me how many calculators they should expect to have defective in 43,250. I'll be walking around if you need any help on that.
Okay, so let's see if you got this proportion set up correctly. First thing you need to do, look at that first sentence. That will give you some sort of fraction or related units to units over here. So we say for 5,000 calculators, 40 of them are defective. Whether you put 5,000 calculators on the top or the bottom, it really doesn't matter as long as you match up the 5,000 with the 40. So 5,000 calculators on the top, 40 defective ones on the bottom. Are you all still with me? Okay. Now, we just got to make sure if we set it this way that we have the same exact units over here. So if we're talking about 5,000 calculators, what should go here? X or 43,000? 43,000. And within those, we're looking to see how many of them will be defective. So X defective calculators. We'll do our cross multiplication, we'll divide, and we'll be done. So cross multiplication, we'll get 5,000 X equals 43,250 times 40. Aren't you glad you get to use calculators now? Yeah. Aren't you glad? I love calculators. Except when they're defective, stupid calculators. So we multiply this. How much is 43,250 times 40, please? Million. Just give me the digits. 1,700,000. 1,700,000 and 4 zeros. 1,700,000 and 4 zeros. Four zeros. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. If we divide by 5,000, which is our very last step here, oh, how much is that? 346. 346 what? Now, do me a favor. Every defective calculator costs the company $8.30. Figure out how much this costs the company. Can you explain to me how much, how you did that? If it, if every calculator, all 346 of them, cost the company, how much did I say? Because I made it up the top of my head. Eight dollars. I said now every calculator, every defective calculator, costs the company eight dollars and what I say? Thirty cents. Eight dollars and thirty cents. How much is this costing the company in dollars? So these are these are cheap calculators. These are like I don't know seven dollar calculators. Okay, that they produce really cheap calculators. But because people send them in and they have to refund that money, it's costing them a little bit more than seven dollars. You, you follow me on that? Cost if they make something bad, it costs them more money than what the calculator is actually selling for. So they have to give back the seven dollars that people pay for it. And it costs them a dollar thirty in like hand or whatever. So e every defective calculator costs eight dollars and thirty cents. They have three hundred forty-six defective calculators. How much does that cost them? Yeah, for every single calculator, it costs them eight dollars thirty cents, right? Multiply those two numbers, it'll give you how much it costs the company total. Two thousand eight hundred dollars and Can you say those digits one more time? That's kind of a big mistake, right? Mm -hmm. Now, do, do me this favor, all right? Well, not a favor. This is a favor for you. Every calculator, they get $7 for. Every calculator, they get $7 for. So here's what I'd like you to do. So you are this business right now. And you know that out of every 5,000 calculators, you've got 40 that are defective. You've just produced how many calculators? 43,200. That's how many calculators you just produced, true? Mm -hmm. Each of them costs $7. See how much money you're going to make. What? Every, you just made $43,250, and you're selling them for seven, sorry, uh, calculators. You're selling them for seven bucks a piece. Doesn't matter. We're just talking revenue. Yeah. 
Can you explain how you got how much money you're going to make out of if you if you're selling something? Let's say this: if you sell one cal, if you sell one calculator, how much are you making? Seven dollars. Good. Someone else, if you sell two calculators, how much are you making? If you sell three calculators, how much are you making? Do that forty-three thousand two hundred fifty times. How much are you going to make? Revenue is the money you take in from something. So if you sold 43,250 calculators at a cost of $7 each, can you read me the digits? Don't sell, just read me the digits one more time. Slowly. 302, Like that? Yeah. Okay. This would be the amount of money you're taking in. Now we're neglecting cost. Okay, we're neglecting cost. But that's the amount of money you take in. You could subtract off the amount of cost if you wanted to. If they cost you $4 to make, then you'd subtract off cost right here, and you would get profit. However, let's just pretend that this is all profit. The amount of money you take in is your complete profit. So this is how much money you took in. How could you figure out after your defective calculators how much you make? So here's a defective calculator cost. Here's your revenue cost. Can you figure out how much you're going you're gonna to keep after you spend this money? This is the money you took in, right? Yes. <coughs> this is the money you're spending back out because you have to pay those people back. You with me on that? If you subtract those, does it make sense that we're subtracting it? Yeah. Yes. This came from your sales. This came from your losses, your, your returns. So for instance, like if you were selling, I don't know, if you're selling bananas, and you sold 100 bananas, they were a dollar each. Or that's, that's making it easier. If you sold 10 bananas and they were a dollar each, you'd have 10 bucks, right? Right? right. $10 in your hand. Some guy comes back and goes, you sold me a banana with a worm in it. And you go, okay, I'll give you your dollar back. How much do you have now? Nine. If nine, you don't have all 10. You had to give back that dollar. Does that make sense? Now, this is the amount of money they took in. This is like you selling your bananas. This is the amount of money that you had to give back to people because you sold them faulty stuff. So all said and done, how much is this? Uh, 299878.20. Did it cut into your profit a little bit? Yes. Sure, not a whole lot, right? So the, the defective calculators, is it a huge thing for this company, the defective calculators? Well, not really, percentage wise, not really. So. Instead of making 302,000, you're making 299,000, basically. That, that's about it. Now, if you wanted to do one more thing, if you wanted to pretend that each of these calculators costs the company $5 or $4 or whatever it was, you could figure out actually how much profit they make. And that's what businesses really do. They say, okay, how much defective stuff do we have? How much does it cost us to make each item? They're going to add that together find out how much profit they want to make percentage-wise and tack that on. That's why you get charged more than it costs them to make a product. You with me on that? So they already budget in the fact that they're going to get returns. They already do that. That's actually on top of the price that you pay, just so they can, they can still make a profit on that. How many want to